Hey guys, welcome to math today. We're going to look at some dots and count them and see what number we're going to be talking about. How many dots do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. What about now? How many dots do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see six in two parts like this? One part right here, and one part right here. All right, what about now? How many dots do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you find six in two parts like this? One, two. All right, what about like this? One, two, three, four, five, six. We could split this into two parts, maybe like this and like this. What about if we split it like this and like this? So what number do you think we're talking about today? The number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's take a look at these cubes. So we're talking about six. So let's get out six cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see how many ways we can turn these linking cubes into two parts of six. If we split it like this, what's our bigger part? One, two, three, four, five. And what's our smaller part? Just one. Five and one are parts of six. What if we split it like this? What's our bigger part? One, two, three, four. And our smaller part is one, two. Four and two are parts of six. If I wanted to put that into a number bond, I would write, ooh, that's a little too big for writing. I'll use a different pen. See, we had four and two were our parts, and our whole is, that's right, six. And we know we're talking about six, so I'm gonna leave that six right there in the hole, because everything we're talking about today, the hole is gonna be six. 
So what if we split it like this? Which one's the bigger part? Oh, I can't trick you. These aren't. Neither of them are the bigger part. They're the same. So what is the same for 6, 3, and 3? Three and three are parts of six. No, what if we split it like this? One, two, three, four is the bigger part again. And two, we already did that one. What about this one? Two, three, four, five is the bigger part and one is the smaller part. We already did that one, but let's write it into our number bond because we didn't write it down. One and, uh-oh, I forgot now that I'm not looking at them. I know, I'll use my fingers to count. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, the missing part is five. Five and one are parts of six. So now we are going to do something different. I'm going to pull up my counting bears. And we're going to use counting bears. Let's see. We need 10 counting bears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh, I ran out of room. Hmm, how else could we put ten so that it all fits on my screen? We'll do it the five group way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. We have ten beautiful bears. I'm actually going to put them up at the top of the screen because guess what? We're going to tell a story not about ten bears but about 17 bears. So we have 10 bears. How many more do we need to get to 17? Well, let's figure it out. We have 10. Next comes 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 10 and 7 are 17. So what if we wrote that in a number bond? I'm just going to erase the whole thing and draw it totally differently. Let's put the hole down here. Our hole is 17. And we discovered that 10 and 7 are parts of 17. Now we're going to need even more bears. Hmm. Let's see. We have 17. I'm going to put two more bears out. How many bears do we have now? 10 and, can you subitize this? Nine, how many is that? 10 and nine, what number does that make? Ten and nine. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 bears. Hmm, what if I get rid of some bears? How many bears do we have now? We still have 10 up here. How many do we have down here? I kind of mixed it up a little. We have five, that's right. 10 and five, how much is that? 10 and five is 15. Now what if I get rid of even more bears? What number is this? 10 and one. What is 10 and one? 10 and one is 11. Some of you might have noticed I didn't erase my one this time. Cause I knew I was doing 10 and one. I didn't erase it last time because I was knew, it, knew I was doing 10 and five and the one from the 10 continues on through 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's a pattern. So what if I make an interesting bear shape? How many bears do we have now? 10 in one group. It's one of our parts of our number. And how many do we have over here in this group, in this part? One, two, three, four, five, six. 10 and six is Well, let's count it just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Ten and six is sixteen. Thanks so much for playing with me. See you later.